Hey, it's Adam, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to prepare your body, mind, and soul for psychedelics. So if you're someone who is interested in exploring the world of psychedelics, but you're scared or you're worried about having a bad trip or you don't know what to expect and you're scared a, a flying eyeball octopus demon is going to come and suck your face off then that's perfectly understandable and that's why in this video I'm going to be giving you so so many powerful tools for preparing yourself for this psychedelic trip. Imagine a psychedelic trip like going into a forest, a dark forest and there's monsters and there's demons and these are all your own personal demons and and delusions and ignorance and the tools I'm going to be arming you with in this video is a nice big shiny sword and I'm going to be training you how to use it properly so that you can defend yourself when you're in the deep dark woods. So before we start I want to make a disclaimer that psychedelics are an extremely extremely powerful and advanced tool. It's this is these are not toys they're not even shortcuts to personal development it's not a magic pill and it's not a joke it's not something you do for for fun when you mix it with alcohol and all that stuff these are extremely powerful tools for raising your consciousness and really what psychedelics tend to do is they tend to cram one entire year of personal development work all into a couple of hours and that that is extremely extremely grueling it can be very difficult there can be powerful emotional releases that come up so these tools are not a shortcut but it's almost like they're a catalyst that help amplify all of the other personal development work that you're doing in your life that I'm going to be outlining for you in this video so there's two ways you can look at doing a psychedelic trip. The, the first way is the idea come as you are. So this is the idea that you don't really have to prepare yourself. You don't really have to do a specific thing or, or look a specific way. People say this a lot when they do ayahuasca trips. The, the motto is come as you are. So come at like literally come as you are now so don't worry about doing personal development don't worry about changing your life don't worry about eating a specific diet just come as you are and the ayahuasca will help you so that's one way to look at it and this way can be powerful but it can also be extremely reckless it can be extremely messy and dangerous so um, that that can be a powerful way but also what I think is a much, much more powerful way is to prepare your body, mind, and soul beforehand. So think about it like a wedding. Before you go to a wedding, you prepare yourself. You dress up nicely. You put on your nice clothes, your, your cologne. You put on your cuff links. You brush your teeth, fix your hair. The reason why is because you recognize that this wedding is a significant experience and you want to come with your best self. And the same is true for a psychedelic trip. You're not going to come into your psychedelic trip wearing, uh, you're not going to go into a wedding wearing pajamas and your hair is all messy and you smell like curry. That's probably something I would do realistically, but... In general, you want to prepare yourself and you want to look sharp. You want to be your best self. And the same is true with psychedelics as well. You want to be prepared. You want to respect the experience. You want to realize this is a profound and important experience. And you want to come with your best self. So these are some of the best ways you can prepare your body, mind, and soul for psychedelics let's start with the body so the first thing to prepare is to prepare a safe area for yourself to trip so that your body is safe you have access to water you are not in the beaming hot sun and getting cooked you have access to shelter 
from the elements, you are relatively safe and you have water. Speaking of water, that's a perfect bridge because I'm actually a little bit thirsty. Mmm. Water. So you have water, you have access to maybe some snacks if you get hungry, so you're in a safe area and you don't feel threatened in any way. There's no pointy spikes sticking out of the walls or anything like that. You're safe and you're comfortable. The next way to prepare your body is to eat a healthy diet. Work on your diet. I just made an entire video about that called Diet for Spirituality where I go into great depth about exactly what foods you should and shouldn't eat just in general in your life and also practical tips for how to implement that change in a way that it actually sticks and that it's easy. So eating healthy is key. Many people trip on psychedelics and they realize, oh shit, I shouldn't be eating Big Macs every single day. <laughs> so just do that ahead of time. Don't eat Big Macs every single day. Come, come prepared to, to uh, the psychedelics will show you that you should be eating a lot more fruits and vegetables. The, the next way to prepare your body is don't eat before your trip. And don't even eat super heavy the night before your trip. So I always recommend tripping on an empty stomach. Check out my video, how to do magic mushrooms for beginners. But don't eat before your trip. Don't fill your stomach with food because that is going to make you nauseous. It's going to inhibit your energy. It's, it's going to affect your body in all sorts of ways. So I always recommend empty stomach and you're very hydrated. Drink some lemon water, just drink some water. That is key. So don't eat before your trip. Don't eat, don't eat like a steak before you're about to do magic mushrooms or LSD. Don't eat a hamburger before you're about to trip. That's a recipe for disaster. Don't do that. Also, just in general, stretch and exercise. So exercising and stretching are so key. I've had many trips where I realized that my body needs more exercise and also more stretching. So when you do psychedelics, you become very conscious of your body and you want to take care of your body more. And one of the greatest ways to do that is stretching, doing yoga, doing qigong, uh, lifting weights, doing cardio, running, playing sports, that kind of stuff. Make sure you're stretching and exercising. <laughs> That'll make you feel great in general and it'll make you healthy. Also practice relaxing and releasing body tension. <sighs> Perfect. And also practice deep breathing. So I have an entire video called how to breathe properly. I have another video called how to surrender to the present moment. These are great places to start. Your breath and your body relaxation is essential for you to have mastery over when you're in doing a psychedelic experience, because that's going to allow the experience to go even deeper. So, Sometimes I do deep breathing when I'm tripping on psychedelics and that sometimes pushes me into some non-dual realm or some extremely high level of consciousness where I feel absolutely amazing and I have crystal clear awareness and all of that's coming from my ability to breathe deeply. And then I said bring water, warmth, snacks, etc. So that's how you master your body and prepare your body for psychedelic trips. Now let's move on to the mind. Now the first way to prepare your mind for psychedelic trips is to study hundreds of diverse perspectives. Read books daily. You should be a daily reader, a daily learner. A lot of people don't like reading books and really if, if you live your entire life without reading hundreds of books, then really you're only living a sliver of life. You're living a, a petty life because books 
have a way of of supplementing your your mind with so many diverse perspectives they open up so many doors so many opportunities for yourself i have a video called seven books for self mastery and then i give you seven books three of which are amazing for relationships three of which are amazing for your career and two of which are amazing for spirituality and understanding the universe so you should be reading these books you should be reading every single day you should be filling your mind with personal development material you should also be filling your mind with spirituality material as well from diverse perspectives so don't just study witchcraft or don't just study astrology or don't just only study buddhism study 50 different types of spirituality study self-inquiry study buddhism study hinduism advaita study meditation zen witnessing study ken wilbur study psychedelics study higher states of consciousness so be reading from many diverse perspectives a great place to start which will absolutely destroy your ego uh, in the nicest of ways. Um, a good place to start reading, if you're serious about this, is The Book of Not Knowing. I'm in the middle of reading it now, and I've had I've many friends who've read it, and after they read this book, they're completely different people. They're not even recognizable. Their way of thinking about reality is completely changed and transformed this is the number one most important book for any human being to read in general so i'm gonna i'm gonna link it I'm gonna link it down here that's an affiliate link so if you click on that link and purchase from there then i get a small little cut like two dollars and i really appreciate that um so make sure you read study diverse perspectives absolutely key i'm going to be making more videos about doing this in the future because this is this is key also, for your mind, don't trip if you're in an argument with a loved one. So if, if, if your mom hates you or, or if, or if, or if you, you storm out of the house and, and you yell at your entire family and you kick your dog, you storm out of your house and then you go walk to the park to go do some mushrooms, <laughs> that's, that's not a good idea. You're going to have a terrible trip. You have all that karma, all that negative karma with you. You're probably going to cry and um, you know, be, be nice to people in general, be nice to your loved ones, be nice to your girlfriend, your boyfriend, so that uh, you know, get, get that area of your life ironed out so that it doesn't have, you don't have to work through it when you're tripping. If, if you're suffering from some serious depression or you're hopelessly addicted to drugs or, or porn or video games, then maybe you should work on that first before you decide to dive deep into an LSD trip. So in this video, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have a perfect life. You don't have to have all of these things in order, but at least get yourself on the trajectory of working on your life and, and moving towards self-actualization and improving yourself and evolving as a human being at least get on the path that's that's what i want to inspire you to do in this video so also for your mind while you're tripping don't distract yourself so when when you're coming up don't be on your phone don't be playing dark souls while while you're like about to come up that's a terrible idea because that is putting your mind in uh, a really unconscious, low vibe state. Even though I love playing Dark Souls occasionally in moderation, it's all good. A little bit of video games here and there are not that bad. But when you're in the depths of your trip, don't be on your phone. Don't be on Instagram. Be conscious of the present moment. Also, set a conscious intention for your trip. I have other videos talking about this. So have a reason for why you're tripping. I'm tripping 
to discover my life purpose. I'm tripping to have insights for my business. I'm tripping to be more creative. I'm tripping to discover the nature of reality. I'm tripping to discover who I am as an existential being. I'm tripping to maybe connect to a past life or I'm tripping to connect to nature. Stuff like that. Have a conscious intention and set it before your trip. Also study and research psychedelics. So before you do any substance, do hours of research about it. So don't take a psychedelic because your friend told you to. Don't go into it blind. Research it. So if you plan on doing mushrooms, research mushrooms. Look at trip reports for mushroom trippers. Know what to expect so you can know what to do, what not to do. Learn about dosages. I have other uh, mushroom trip report videos where you can uh, learn about uh, my experiences on mushrooms. I also have an acid trip report on my channel. And you can learn about dosages. Um, I, I don't speak too much about dosages, but you can specifically learn about what to expect and also what to do and what not to do. I talk about that a lot. That's what I'm talking about here in this video. Also, uh, you should be uh, practicing meditation every single day. And if you follow any of my work, you know that is all I talk about is practicing meditation every single day. I have a video called How to Meditate Consistently Every Single Day. I have, at this point, over 20 videos that are all very motivational and inspiring for convincing you to meditate every single day, for teaching you why it's so important, and also for teaching you how to do it properly. So now let's move into your soul, how to prepare your soul. This is one of my favorite parts. Now, you should have some contemplation and self-inquiry experience. So uh, check out my videos like proof that reality is not physical. Also check out my video, how to discover what reality is. Also check out my video, how to do self-inquiry. These are all extremely important videos to watch so that you can start questioning reality, question your experience. And going back to this book, The Book of Not Knowing, highly recommend you pick it up and read it. It's the best book like ever written. It's, it's insane. It's like really, really good. This guy is going to teach you everything you need to know about contemplating your direct experience. Also practice surrender. I have an entire video about how to practice surrender. This will make the difference night and day between having a terrible trip where you're fighting the experience at every second and there's demons that are chasing you. I'm, I'm kidding. That, that normally doesn't happen, but it can feel like that sometimes. Um, this is the difference between having a terrible trip where you're crying and you're distracted and you, you're, you're going to you promise to yourself that you'll never do mushrooms again. And then you go home and you leave a nasty comment on my video telling me that I'm tricking people into ruining their lives. That if you, you can have that experience where you don't know how to surrender at all, or you can have a blissful, beautiful experience where you're lying down and you have a big smile on your face and the sun is shining and Buddha comes down and, and he talks to you and he teaches you the secrets of all of existence. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's the difference between surrendering and not surrendering. I have a other videos about how to practice surrender. Also, uh, give yourself time to integrate afterwards. So after you finish tripping, uh, don't go right home and play League of Legends because um, I've, I've done that in the past and that's, uh, that's a terrible idea. Don't do that. So <laughs> give yourself time to integrate the experience into your life. Do some journaling. Write about the important lessons that you learned. Give yourself time to rest. Don't go to work the next day, like, you know, maybe maybe take the day off. That'd, that'd be a good idea. So you have time to rest, recuperate. You can give yourself some self-love, uh, journal, all that stuff. So integration is awesome. I'm going to be making more videos about that in the future. 
Also practice gratitude. Say thank you. Thank you so much for the fact that I'm alive. Thank yourself. Thank you for incarnating into a human body. Like what is this? It's so beautiful. Appreciate the present moment. Thank you for existing. Look how beautiful this is. What? It's a book? Oh my God, so, ah, so beautiful. <laughs> really appreciate the present moment. Take some time to be grateful for the fact that you exist. Be present, that's the next point. Practice meditation. Be kind and forgiving of yourself. Don't, don't guilt yourself. Don't, if maybe some traumatic memory comes up, don't don't be yelling at yourself in your mind or don't tell yourself that you're an asshole that you're a terrible person be kind to yourself be forgiving of yourself open your heart realize that you are deserving of love you are a beautiful human being be kind to yourself you're you're a genius if you did some bad things in the past that was that was the best you could do then but now you're a new person. You're different now. So you can change. You can be who you want to be. Also, drop all expectations. So don't expect something to be happening. Don't expect, uh, 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 don't expect yourself to have an, an awakening or to not have an awakening. Don't expect yourself to feel a certain way don't have no expectations at all go in it with a beginner's mind every new trip should be with a beginner's mind even if you've tripped before don't have any expectations also allow 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 this is a big one this is surrendering as well allow everything to happen and just witness just detach yourself from from these these experiences and just allow yourself to witness them if you're having negative experiences traumas coming up allow them allow them to exist they're presenting themselves for healing also be alone this is great for your soul be alone it's good to be alone very important so when you're tripping trip alone you can maybe trip with one friend but don't make that your go-to if you are if you want to have the most personal development from your trip that's only going to happen if you're alone also open up your heart breathe into the heart space I talk a lot about this in my LSD video. I even have live clips of me doing this while I'm peeking on LSD and explaining exactly how I feel. So breathe into the heart space. <sighs> Make your heart and your chest more spacious. and Be conscious of the love that's in the present moment. Also a cool one is to try bilateral symmetry. So I got this from Martin Ball. And what that is, is basically position yourself in a way where you're lying down or maybe sitting up where your body is perfectly symmetrical. So your hands are maybe rested on your lap or they're beside you and your body's perfectly symmetrical. The reason why you do this is because basically this is the most natural position for you to be in and it also allows your consciousness to flow the most fully. And also, this teaches you to surrender to the present moment. Because if you want to move, if you want to move out of your symmetry, then you are going to surrender that want, surrender that desire to move and just stay as you are. And that's actually going to allow you to trip much more deeper. And the last, the last point to finish this off for your soul is to be in nature if if you feel comfortable doing that so connect to nature in general whether you're sober or whether you're not sober i mean whether you're sober or whether you're on psychedelics connect to nature go for a nice nature hike go look at the frogs go catch some frogs go swim in the river go put your feet in the river go 
Go climb a tree. Go connect to nature. This is key. This makes you feel like a human being. This allows you to connect to your roots. This allows you to be grounded, to be happy, to enjoy the beauty of life. We're in summer now, so make sure you're connecting to nature as frequently as you can. I live in Canada, so when the winter comes, it's, it's rough. <laughs> it's rough. We got cold, snowy, icy, slushy, dark winters here in Canada. So when the summer comes around, I'm spending as much time as possible in nature, in trees, in, with flowers and bees and hummingbirds and turtles and frogs and all that stuff. So that's all I got to say in this video. I hope this video helped you. I hope you got some insight for how to prepare your body, mind, and soul for psychedelics. Now, all of the content in this channel is about raising your consciousness through your body, your mind, and your soul. So I'm going to be teaching you how to raise your consciousness with specific, simple techniques, also with theory, like this video is more of a theory video, it's more of an overarching list, a comprehensive guide so that you can get the big picture perspective, I have a lot of videos like that. And then I also have videos where I get more onto the, the practical level of exactly how to do a specific practice. I have meditation practices, I have emotional mastery practices. So these are great practices to be doing, of course, when you're on the spiritual path. And if you plan on doing psychedelics, these are a very, very powerful tool. Make sure you're following along with my content and you're familiar with what I'm talking about here in these videos because this is really, really going to help you. So stay tuned. I have some amazing, amazing content coming up. This channel is just getting started. I have content, enough content for the next 10 years. I'm working on developing myself as a human being. I'm reading books every single day, fat, crazy books that, that I can't even, I've never heard of anyone reading these books. These, I'm re reading some amazing books. They're filling me with amazing insights, creativity, and I'm excited to share all of that with you. The vision for this channel is to help you raise your consciousness and to ascend into the next level of consciousness, which I'm going to be speaking about more in my future videos, especially about spiral dynamics. So I'm going to be explaining the levels of consciousness so that you understand where you're at and also where you should be moving towards. So I make these types of videos. I hope you are inspired. I hope you Subscribe, follow along, all that stuff. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out my other videos about psychedelics. I also have other videos about personal development. I've linked tons of them here in this video. So check out those ones and I will catch you in the next one.